Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode. Right now we're live streaming again. Uh, I thought I'd hop back on for TikTok as well. So we are back. Welcome everybody. I'm on TikTok, AliSharp94. Welcome to the stream. Um, I am doing uh, Ask Me Anything session right now. So I uh, just decided to do only 20 minutes because sometimes I know these streams get out of hand like at 20 minutes my neck starts to hurt and everything and it gets pretty late in Australia so it's already 8.53 p.m. Where's everybody at right now? Are you, is everyone watching from us within Australia? Where, where are you guys from Christian Raphael? Uh, I'm just going to have a look through here. So today we were just talking about gallbladder and digestive issues earlier. Hello, gents, IXX, Harry, Dandy Yan, user 694. So we are just talking about pretty much acupressure, but a lot of health related stuff. So if you guys have questions uh, when it comes to acupressure, shoot away. I didn't have a topic off the top of my head. I couldn't really think of something but we we're talking about digestion earlier a lot of people quite a lot actually i did a video the other day can you say hello to elliot nickel hello elliot nickel i actually did a video the other day for shoulder and trap pain and that actually went went i can't say viral but that got popular real quick like a lot i had no idea. every time i make a, a, a video on neck pain or shoulder or neck pain like it just blows up. I don't know why. I think out there, because of the pandemic, everyone's just very, very stiff and sore from looking at their devices and being on screens all day and being cooped up at home. So I was actually just in, not in, I was actually on the phone with my my brother and he was saying things were really bad in Chicago. My mom was saying things were bad. My mom's kind of held up in her own, in her own house. So she's just at home, not going out very much and she's just hanging out at home but she's on the ipad on the phone all day either so i'm assuming uh, most of you guys are on the ipad uh, and that's probably why a lot of people have neck pain as well so uh the video if you guys missed it was basically uh, i got a massage ball and um if you have trap pain mostly it's coming from your neck it actually has to do with your spine so if you're leaning too far forward that actually puts pressure on your spine, which makes your neck, your neck muscles overcompensate. That works. That overworks too much. When that works too much, that makes your traps tight as well. So it's actually not your traps. It's actually this rounded shoulder position. Your traps end up having to carry the shoulders out. Hey, PRG underscore love, Gen Drag, double O, Claire, 1039, Carrie Amplet. What is this moon... Um, icon i still can't figure it out i can't figure out what this moon icon thing is it's uh i heard it's all, all over tiktok lately i don't know what that's about but back to neck pain and posture so again all these things i show you guys uh, on tiktok on youtube instagram they do work but at the very very core of it it, it posture is the key it, you know in marketing say content is king i would say posture is king and, and i'm guilty of it myself because when i'm at work i i do work as an acupuncture so i'm leaned over and I'm hunching over people all day so I'm very rounded and then I get back to my computer I do my notes and then I'm rounded again so I do actually spend quite a bit of time hi Preet Gale 4 I do spend quite a lot of time uh, particularly in the mornings uh, in the morning I, I do jujitsu with my son and we do and even but even jujitsu that's very rounded as well I have to lean forward and won't curl into a ball almost so that actually doesn't help but i spend a lot of time actually just laying on a ball i follow this really great physio channel on youtube it's called bob and brad uh they're it's just like really really tall six foot four basketball player and this other guy and they're both physios and they have this great advice check it out if you're into uh health and th health things all things health but also posture as well so that i believe that really gets to the root of the problem to all the habits that we have so it doesn't matter if it's eastern medicine western medicine things like that but what they recommend is actually getting uh rolling up a yoga mat and putting it on your back and then just rolling out and just pushing out uh extending i heard a crack right there when i did that but even just trying to get your scapula muscle those two triangle bones on your back so trying to like get them together just the 
open up the chest. Actually, that feels really good. I just cracked my back right now. But that actually really helps from day to day. And, and it's much better than, to be honest, much better than pushing points all day or getting a massage thing. If you can get to it earlier, even better. Oh, no, thank you for the vid, Spiral, Skypread. Yet. No problem. Uh, actually, I'm always looking for suggestions for videos that you guys want to see. So, so far from what I've seen so far is people, a lot of people have neck pain. A lot of people have shoulder pain. And I've been getting a lot of questions about jaw pain as well. Those are like the most common ones. Oh, insomnia. Insomnia was like, you guys, are, a lot of people have sleep problems. I was quite surprised that video did, I don't know how many... 200 150,000 plus views for me that's a lot it's not in the millions but when people say hey thank you this helped or hey try this didn't work like i i was surprised at the number of comments that people left in the video for the insomnia video how many people out there actually have sleep problems i wonder right now it's kind of strange but not strange like for me i i don't i had sleep problems for a while but uh they just kind of went away but and we do see quite a bit of insomnia in clinic, but not very often. I would say majority of the complaints that we see in clinic, I would say, are from chronic pain, neck and shoulder, lower back. Those are the top ones. And I, we see a lot of neuro neurological um, conditions as well. Oh, great. Thank you. So if you guys do uh, want, like the TikTok videos, please share. So sleep acne. Do you mean sleep apnea? Hedgeck 360, I, th I think you're talking about sleep apnea. Sleep apnea, I, I know some people like to use sleep apnea for, uh, say, wonder, ask about sleep apnea and if acupuncture or acupressure can help. Honestly, I don't know because I haven't seen enough cases of sleep apnea. I think, I believe that's probably when someone lays back and their tongue rolls in the back and that, that the muscles in the neck start, start to tighten up. But with sleep apnea, well, they don't go away. Oh, do you mean acne? Oh, no, yeah, okay, sleep apnea, okay. So sleep apnea, I think that has a lot to do with weight, actually. So if you're overweight, that puts extra pressure on your body as well. So I don't know the exact mechanism of why that happens, but I notice when people tell me they lose weight, they tend to, uh, the sleep apnea tends to go away as well. So I recommend uh, looking into diet, Hojak360, and seeing if that makes a difference as well. Uh, if you again, I always recommend the enzyme diet, the enzyme factor, or the uh, Eat to Live by Joel Furman. That's a really really great book as well. Um, oh, so right right now I'm on this camera right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, check, make sure to subscribe. But also, uh, I've got a free ebook out. If you haven't checked that out. Link is in the description as well if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. TikTok, it's in my bio as well. And yeah, click on the link. It's got the top seven most common points that I use in clinic and the most effective ones that I've seen. Pretty much I've cut out all the BS on all the all the blah, blah, blah. It's just straight to the point. If you are looking for quick relief for your lower back pain or your neck pain or your knee pain, check the book out. It's right there. Ooh, I stopped breathing seven seconds, 56 times an hour. What have you tried so far, Hojack360? I, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with sleep apnea. I haven't, I haven't treated too many of those cases, so I can't, I can't say what can help. But let me look into that, actually, sleep apnea. That's a bit, that's an interesting question as well. So if you're just tuning in, this is an Ask Me Anything episode. So I set the timer for about... 20 minutes, I usually stop, uh, I will, I told myself I will stop from there because it just gets, uh, my neck starts to get really sore from this posture position, so I need to take my own advice, I shouldn't be a hypocrite, so I need to listen, uh, listen to my own advice. How do I keep breathing? That is a interesting question. You can, you can actually try meditation or sometimes qigong as well, so before you sleep, just try to take deep breaths and breathe out so a lot of people think meditation is this long arduous two hour zen process actually the uh, and, and i was 
did an interview with my colleague Melissa Jung uh, two weeks ago, and she was saying meditation actually doesn't have to be this complicated process. By you just closing your eyes, taking a deep breath for four seconds, breathe in and breathe out for four seconds. That that was meditation right there. That could have been that counts as a session. So majority of people have a lot of problems concentrating and focusing on their breath for even past a minute. For me, I know I can't make it past a minute. My mind goes everywhere, it starts to go crazy as well. But you can try breathing. Indica. I'm not sure what that means, Project Indica. But you can try meditation breathing exercises as well. Usually, I don't even think there are actually a lot of medications to for sleep apnea, to be honest. Uh, let me look into that. Uh, I haven't treated too many cases, like I said. So again, if you guys have any questions, uh, all right, doesn't look like we have a lot of questions going on. So I'm just gonna keep going on until the time goes out. So guys are watching uh, we've also got some acupressure courses out right now so link is in the bio in the TikTok bio and also in the Facebook group as well so right now I'm working on the most common things I see right now are neck back neck and back but also smoking marijuana and meditation is at the moment right? yeah that works too it chills you out uh, medical medical marijuana that's actually I saw some documentaries on there that's some pretty convincing stuff uh, I was quite interested uh it was quite interesting how hemp fell into favor and then fell out of favor but like i was saying earlier we've got some acupressure courses out right now i've got a neck and back pain bundle for those of you that have pain everywhere definitely at peace for those of you that have pain everywhere uh that's the book for you check it out that's i'm sorry that's the course for you I'm also working on some other things called uh, with my mentor right now. It's going to be called Achieve Wellness on Demand. So that's coming out probably in the next couple of weeks. So he's going to get into functional medicine, diets, neuropathy. I know there's some diabetic people uh, that have asked me some questions. Um, also, I think he had a module on 30-day habits, 30 days to build good habits, but also functional medicine as well. A lot of diet, a lot of weight loss. I get a lot of weight loss questions actually. Uh, that's the place to check out. Achieve Wellness on Demand. Look out for that in a couple next coming week, weeks, guys. That's coming up. And I and we're actually looking for experts from other fields as well. So we're going to have, I think we're going to have Melissa. So she teaches meditation as well. So we'll have some meditation modules. We're also going to have Achieving modules. I think we have a, another guy, but I might do it as well. I don't know. So we have lots of things, exciting things happening, guys. What's happiness? Oh, I, I wish I knew. If I, I, I tell you, if I figured it out, I would have done it already. My question is, what's happiness? Jane Hair and Beauty. Hello, Jane Hair and Beauty. Can, oh, can you chat about the benefits of acupuncture? I sure can. That's actually what I do all day, every day. I talk about to patients about the benefits of acupuncture. Acupuncture, basically, in a nutshell, originated thousands of years ago. I don't know where it came from. Actually, some of my teachers actually have told me it actually originated from aliens. I can't confirm or deny that, but pretty much they had having health is everything and happiness. Yes, agreed. Acupuncture basically originated in China over thousands of years ago. There's the debate whether it was Ayurvedic that came out with it in India. Um, nobody knows for certain, but they found that when they stimulated points on the body, different points would respond. So say one day, sometimes it could be as something as simple as someone was having severe lower back pain and for some reason they tripped on a rock and stabbed themselves in the foot and all of a sudden their back pain went away. And I'm guessing that's probably more lines of what ha probably happened as well. Someone somewhere started pricking themselves on accident. They're like, oh, hey, we're on to something. Oh, that guy has a fever. Just stab him with something. And they noticed things started, different parts of the body responded. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. I am very happy. I live in Australia. I have a beautiful, loving wife, supportive. She's been with me since day one when I was a poor student, literally had nothing. 
Well, I had my parents' support, but that was, you know, after I graduated, had nothing. So two beautiful children. I'm definitely happy. I'm happy that I'm able to help people as well. Uh, I've been getting messages from people that have, uh, the, the most interesting one was I had got a message from someone. They were from a remote island, and they didn't have access to health care. Uh, hospitals were shut down, clinics were shut down, and they started. They ran into my TikTok videos. They started doing all the TikTok video acupressure points, and they actually felt a lot better, uh, which is quite interesting because if if you're in a third world country or an island, they, the infrastructure infrastructure is not good. You don't have a ho- you don't have access to healthcare, but how do you have access to TikTok? It's a little bit strange to me. But uh, back to the. Is that from the Buddhism? Oh, is it from Buddhism? It's related to Buddhism. A lot of Chinese medicine is related to, uh, has a lot of cultural significance to it. So, oh, definitely always giving things on advice, Rodolfo. Shoot away. If you guys have any questions, always uh, type it in. I'll come back to it later. So, it's a lot of culture involved in Chinese medicine as well. But... In terms of acupuncture itself, the way it works is no problem, Lily Me. They found that different parts of the body corresponded to different organs, but also different parts of the body. So, say points on your wrist, they actually treat your ankles and vice versa. Ankles treat the wrists, elbows treat the knees, knees treat the, the elbows, vice versa. The foot treats the head. The head. So different parts. They all correspond. It's kind of like a game of battleship. So that's why my work is never boring. It's like hmm, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, what's what's going on there? Like okay, what kind of joint can fix that joint, or which channel pathway works for the uh, for the inner organs? So this is digestion. So uh, at all, a lot of the organs revolve around digestion as well. So I always tell people. This will help your muscular chronic pain. This will help, but if you don't get to the root of it, which is diet, a lot of times, most patients I see with musculoskeletal problems, they will have digestive issues most of the time, unless you're like this perfect athlete. But even then, a lot of them don't have good digestion as well. So in a nutshell, acupuncture one increases blood flow. So depending on where we put the needles, we can move blood to anywhere in your body. Oh, just the timer. That's actually the 20 minute mark. But uh, I'll probably go for another five minutes. But the way acupuncture works is it increases blood flow, but also retrains your brain to move blood to those areas. So a lot of people that have digestive issues, they will have a, it'll show up on their pulses as well. So that's why we take the pulse during our exams as well, during um, our initial exams as well, and we do some orthopedic testing, and then we see what's going on. We try to get to the root of the problem. So the next, the other thing acupuncture does is it retrains your brain to move blood to those areas on its own. So if you have neck pain and you're taking pharmaceuticals, morphine, codeine, Panadol, uh, whatever your drug of the day is, as soon as you stop taking it, it goes, the inflammation comes right back. But with acupuncture, you can actually retrain your brain to move blood to that area so it can promote healing on its own. So that's why acupuncture is phenomenal for all types of chronic pain, digestive issues as well. Lots of painting. All right, so I hope that answers your question about how acupuncture works or talk about acupuncture. Chinese medicine itself actually is a lot related a lot to Chinese culture, Chinese food, but and it, it kind of goes back to, excuse me, what Hippocrates says. Let food be thy medicine. Those are like one of the main things I, I, I get. I, there were a lot of crossover, like a lot of the things that made sense. I was like, okay, let food be thy medicine. So if you want to get better, it's most likely through your diet. And if you're feeling not feeling good, it's probably through your diet as well. Uh, one of those other things uh, popular saying they say in Western medicine is first do no harm. Problem with that is there's so many pharmaceuticals out there. Like, I uh, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. So. I have sciatica pain. Okay, I'm going to get through all these questions and I'm going to call it a night real quick. So, are you giving advice? Yes, I am. Rusuvika. I have sciatica pain and when I have back. You have sciatic pain. I have actually three videos on TikTok and my YouTube channel as well that that is for, that addresses sciatica. 
So for sciatica, best point would be this point here. This is for lower back pain right here. This is the go-to point. I talk about it pretty much every video over here. Uh, 15 to 30 seconds over here on your opposite side of where the sciatica is. Also, this one for shooting down the leg. If it's shooting down your hip, any tender spots all through here between your middle, your ring finger, and your pinky finger all the way up. So if you have sciatic pain, make sure to do the opposite side. I actually have, uh, it's actually, the, we talk about that in the ebook as well. So check it out in the link below in my TikTok as well if you're on TikTok. Also, if, also I've actually got a course actually. I've got a course uh, that, that talks about, that talks about sciatic as well. So you can either check out the TikTok, three options pretty much. TikTok videos. Check out the ebook, or if they're still not getting anywhere, if you want more in depth answers, it's in the course as well. So check those out. But I would start here uh, for you, Rusvika. I would start off with this point here and this point here, and the point over here on the on your on the shoulder back right here. There should be some tender spots right around here. This is uh, this is a really great image of the lower back, the the buttock as well. So if most of the pain is on the buttock. Uh, do the opposite side back part over here. I made a couple videos in the TikTok. If you flip through the TikTok, uh, they're, they're definitely going to come up. Heel pain as well. Okay, great. Heel pain really quick. Quick, quick, quick heel pain. So this is a great image of the heel. So if you press through here, these two spots over here, they are really great for heel pain. You can do that on both palms and see which one works better. Uh, help. Right Hand fingers going to ooh, right hand fingers going to sleep. Right hand going finger. That could be a sign. Uh, that usually lets us know either it's carpal tunnel. Does that come from your arm or just your fingers? Oops, no loading. Not loading. Difficulty with the oh. Uh, must be a network problem. Oh, because because. <laughs> I think everyone's online tonight. That's probably what's going on. But back to your question about fingers going to sleep. Your fingers going to sleep. Are you putting pressure on it? That could be a sign of carpal tunnel. Do you have wrist pain? Is it coming from your neck all the way shooting down, or is it just coming from your neck pain? So that depends. Uh, that'll depend on what's going on with your fingers as well. So I probably send me a DM. I can have a look. I, I can because that way it's a little bit uh, hard to know with just just from the question. Uh, not your solutions. I want not not others. I want solutions. What is this? Uh, I put the question earlier. Uh, difficulty breathing. All right. So yeah, I don't know where that one's going. So I'm going to call it a night, guys. If you yeah, Lil and me, send me a DM after this. I'll see if I can get to the bottom of this. I think. Most likely, if you're having numb fingers, it's either come from the neck or carpal tunnel or there's something else going on. But send me a message. All right, guys. I'm going to turn off the TikTok. And I'm going to turn off this one as well. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode.